our last episode, we moved out of our house and onto the boat. We prepared for departure, including getting our life raft serviced, and we shared what it's like living in a marina. In this episode, our cruising life really begins. We cut the dock lines for good, leave Channel Islands Harbor, and say some important goodbyes. We will cover our sail down to San Diego, and then the big event, the Baja Ha Ha, kicks off. Just test fitting our storm jet. Um, this is a sail would be using in really heavy winds when our normal head sail is too much sail and the stay sail is too much sail. Uh, we can fly this on either the uh, four stay or the inner four stay where the stay sail is, depending on conditions. We just wanted to see how we fit, um, make sure we clear the pulpit, see how much, uh, what the overall size is. Looks like it'll work. Hopefully we'll never have to use it. It's one of those things like the uh, life raft that you hope you never have to use. Our original plan was to leave on October 15th, but one thing after another kept delaying us. First was the diesel generator, which we discussed in our last episode. That saga took many days to resolve. We had other projects going on too, including building a bookcase in that gaping hole left in our nav station after removing the old electronics. Here's how it came out. Then, when we finally got all of our projects done, this happened. Oh man, these Santa Ana winds are bad. Uh, we've been so busy trying to get the boat ready to leave tomorrow that I have not been looking at the news, so I don't know what's going on, but obviously there are fires. I mean, it smells like smoke, and just looking out that direction over the ocean, obviously a lot of, because uh, that's the, you know, the winds are blowing towards the ocean, and there's a ton of smoke being uh, blown over there. And the winds are powerful. These are definitely gale force winds. So this is why we couldn't leave today. And I'm still hoping that the winds will die down tomorrow enough for us to be able to get out. Even if we don't leave until like noon or maybe 2 p.m., that's okay. It's a 24 hour sail, so we'll get to San Diego when we get there. Uh, but we definitely can't leave when it's like this. The fire in Santa Clarita burned for two more days. The blaze blackened more than 4,600 acres, destroying 29 structures and damaging 42. So, while it added yet another delay to our departure, the impact on us was nothing compared to what the locals in Santa Clarita suffered. Fire season in Southern California has gotten so bad in these past few years. Finally, after more than a week of delays, we were ready to leave. But first, we had some important goodbyes. One of the most important was to our dear friends Alan and Allison Gable. They are really the reason we're doing this. We met them 10 years ago, right as they were preparing to leave for their two-year cruising adventure. I started reading their blog. In fact, check this out. It's the first comment I ever made on their blog. I followed them obsessively and realized that this was what I wanted to do. Since they returned, we've become very close friends, and they have shared so much advice and tips about cruising that we now call them our cruise Sherpas and how perfect that they were the last people to come say goodbye to us right before we cast off. Okay, Charlie just started the motor for us to take off. This is the beginning of the beginning. Okay, we're starting to remove the dock lines. And this is the final dock line. This is it. 38 years in the making, 10 years of serious planning, and it all comes down to this, this final dock line, which is on really tight. Oh, he got it. We are free. Okay, we're backing out of the slip. This is it. I can't believe it. We are, we're actually, yes, I'm crying. I'm ugly crying. I can't believe we're actually doing this. This is a big moment, folks.
Okay, we are about to leave Channel Islands Harbor. <laughs> Alan and Allison, our cruise surfers, are right there waving, videotaping this. So I'm hoping that I get that videotape and I'll put that right after this one in the YouTube video. We would not be doing this without them. about a dozen goodbyes with them. <laughs> Like they're coming to greet us. There they are. A lot of action going on in the air around us. And on the other side, we have planes landing at San Diego Airport. We had nine days in San Diego to complete our final preparations for the Ha Ha. The first three nights we were able to use a guest slip at the beautiful Southwestern Yacht Club on Shelter Island. After that, we had to transfer to an anchorage in Glorieta Bay, which required sailing under the Coronado Bridge. So that's the Coronado Bridge way up there. That's where we're headed. This is going to be interesting. I've never bought taking a sailboat under a bridge before. But about that he just wants treats and there's beautiful San Diego behind us the Coronado Bridge was built in the late 60s and opened for traffic in August 1969 during the celebration of the 200th anniversary of the founding of San Diego it's 2.1 miles long ascending to a height of 200 feet it used to be a toll bridge, but the toll was removed in 2002, becoming the last toll bridge in Southern California to discontinue tolls. We noticed that the islands on which the toll booths sat, as well as the lanes between them and the canopy over the toll plaza, are still intact, but drivers just drive through them now. We drove over it a few times with our rental car, and we noticed several signs giving the number for the suicide hotline. Come to find out that the Coronado Bridge is second only to the Golden Gate Bridge in the U.S. as a place for suicide jumpers. That's kind of morbid. And here we are, passing under it. Our first time ever sailing under a bridge. For the next several days, we learned what life was like living on the hook, as they say. It involves a lot of dinghy rides, which it turns out Bubba loves. And there goes Charlie and Bubba back to the boat. Look at him, he's so cute. The day before the Ha Ha is the traditional Ha Ha barbecue and costume party in the West Marine parking lot. Charlie and I dressed up as Romeo and Julia because, well, it seemed appropriate. Bubba needed a costume too, so here he is dressed up as a tarantula. 
The pirate costumes are always a hit. Awards are given out for the best costumes in various categories. We were happy to see our friends Will and Sarah and their new twins win their category. All right, we are uh, Will and Sarah and Ashley up here and the twins, Kip and Hugo. Uh, we're on sailing vessel KaiQuest. We're also a sponsor, Hydravane. We always thought we'd be doing the 2019 Haha. -ha. Unfortunately, we're going to be about a month to behind while we get the boat all baby-proofed, but we're coming to Mexico. Woo! All right, guys, ready? Baby shark. The parade is about to start. Say something. You have. Go home. <laughs> Bubba doesn't care. That was the start. This is it. Woo! Check that out. <laughs> This is it! And look at all these boats! We're actually going the wrong way. We, we were a little behind, so we're trying to get in behind all these boats. Holy crap, look at all those boats. So here we are in the parade. We're now sailing in the same direction as all the other boats. Uh, we were a little late getting here because we had to stop and get fuel. But uh, so we're kind of at the tail end, but we're all going to the same place. We're all sailing up towards the Dolphin, which is the committee boat, which is way behind me. And uh, when we get up there, we're all supposed to be dancing to show our enthusiasm. I'm certainly going to be dancing, but I will not be getting that on film since Charlie's at the helm, so he can't really film. Um, but this is just really, really exciting. This is what we've been waiting for for all these years. Check that out. They must be having fun. Okay, now you can see the dolphin. So the ha ha has begun, ha 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 ha, and we have enough wind to get all three sails out, which doesn't happen all that often where the point of sail is appropriate and there's enough wind, but we've got the very front, we've got our Genoa, and then we've got our stay sail, and we have our main sail, so wanted to go ahead and get a video because I don't know I mean according to the uh, to predict wind we may not have a whole lot of wind on this uh, this particular leg but we'll see and uh, Charlie is enjoying being at the helm with us being under sail All right Charlie yep we're sailing along at five knots and we have about seven knots of wind so that's pretty good for a big boat like this with yeah. full fuel and water tanks. And let's get some video of the rest of the fleet. We're kind of at the back of the pack, so that's behind us. We have some boats. That's where we left from, San Diego back there. And there's a few boats back there. And then I'm going to come around and there's some boats beside us. And then we walk up front and and you can see the rest of the fleet out there so there's the ha ha fleet pretty soon we will scatter and we will see a few lights at night here and there but for the most part we won't be seeing each other we'll just be kind of sailing in the dark Es en México! Woo! Arriba, arriba! 
As the sun set on the first night of our first multi-night cruise, we reflected on all of the events over our lives that have brought us here. It's still hard to believe that, after all those years of wishing, dreaming, and planning, we were really here. In our next episode, we learn that Bubba really doesn't like overnight passages. We encounter rain and some pretty rough seas, and I catch a fish. Then the big payoff. We arrive in Turtle Bay, where we party it up haha style at the traditional Turtle Bay beach party.